Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Aquarius? Welcome to my channel, Positive Thoughts and Energy. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Great, great. Thank you for your subscribe. Thank you for your, your likes and just taking the time out. Um, new viewers, you're welcome to my channel. Cross watchers, you are welcome as well. Only take what fits, what resonates with you. Leave the rest. It may not resonate with you and it's okay. All right? You may come back two weeks from now, three weeks from now, and it may resonate with you. I get that a lot. Okay, so Aquarius, gender roles, reverse it in your life, how it goes, how it fits in your life. All right, I don't do reversals. Only when spirit has me to do reversals, I will do reversals. Time is fluid. Time is fluid. Okay, so let's get started. All right, I've already shuffled, pre-shuffled, meditated, and let's see what the spirit has for you, Aquarius. Okay, spirit, Holy Spirit, what message you have for Aquarius, October the 9th, 2020. Aquarius, October 2020. Spirit, Aquarius, October 2020. Aquarius. Uh, Aquarius, okay. A lot of you are in, you have the Hermit card. The Hermit card is a Virgo card. A lot of you are really like in your comfort zone. You really like sitting, you really really isolating yourself and really just really thinking and, and, and really meditating on your spiritual side. You're really looking at the light. You see, you're really thinking, you're really sitting back and you're thinking a lot. Okay. Your Sir Hermit card, which is a Virgo card, which is the comfort zone. You really like, you know, uh, looking back and seeing how far you have came, how far you, you've come and you just, you're just looking at your light. Okay, Spirit, Holy Spirit, Aquarius, 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 thank you, Spirit, Aquarius, thank you. Something's, something's burdening you. You have the Ten of Wands, something is burdening you. This is why you are, you're in your, your own little space, your comfort space. Uh, you're, you're, you're back, something's really weighing heavy on you, Aquarius. Something's weighing heavy on you. What's weighing heavy on you? Spirit, Holy Spirit, what message? What's weighing heavy on you, Aquarius? It's for my Aquarius. This is for my Aquarius. Spirit, Holy Spirit, white light. This is for Aquarius. Okay, these two cards popped out. Three cards. Okay. So Aquarius, what I have is that something's weighing heavy on you. Some of you could be um, traveling, maybe traveling across water. Knight of Wands is all about, you know, uh, traveling. Um, you can also have had an enlightenment, okay, about your soulmate, all right? The Knight of Wands is about traveling, about, you know, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Okay. Let's get one more card before. I... Thank you, Aquarius. Aquarius spirit. Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay. So we have the Ace of Cups that came out. So, all right. This is what I get. Definitely. You're in your comfort zone. You're really doing a lot of thinking, Aquarius. You have had an epiphany, enlightenment on something. Uh, on something that you're dealing with in your life. Um, but you have awakened. Either you have awakened or you have had an epiphany. Um, it's about 
something that's burdening you that may you know that you're deciding to move across water or to make take a trip or to travel across water but something is definitely weighing on you heavy um you also have two of cups two of cups is all about your soulmate emotions uh, I'm sorry, your soulmate. I looked at this card and said emotions. The Eight of Cups is all about a new beginning. Uh, some of you are going to be traveling, maybe moving across water uh, to start a new beginning. Um, for some of you, you could be, let me see what's at the bottom. You're definitely... Um, I get an energy of you. You definitely are really weighed down. You have the Nine of Swords. Uh, you really, the Nine of Swords is all about anxiety, um, anxiety, fear, just, you know, um, fear. Let's clarify some of this. Um, Spirit, Holy Spirit, let's clarify. Let's find out what's, please clarify this Ten of Wands for Aquarius, Ten of Wands for Aquarius. Well, whatever's been burning you, it's, it's gonna come out on top. You have the Sun card here. It's gonna come out on top. You're gonna be very happy. Something that you're thinking about that's just burning you, that you worried about, whatever it is that you worried about, Spirit said, don't worry. Spirit said, don't worry. It's going to be all right. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit's saying, don't worry, it's going to be all right. Whatever it is that you've been thinking about, it's been weighing on you heavy, Aquarius. Spirit is saying, don't worry, you're going to be okay. The sun card is here. You're going to be happy. Things are going to work out. It's going to get better. You're going to feel, you're going to feel so free. That's, that's what just clarified that card, okay? Spirit, Holy Spirit, please clarify the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? The Knight of Wands is all about traveling across water. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. You could have someone that's coming to visit you. Someone could be coming to see you that's coming from across the water. Aquarius. Um, for some of you, you could be burdened about finding your soulmate. Uh, finding that other part, that other half, that part, that partner. Um, but you know, it's clarifying with the sun card. Um, if that's been burdening you, whatever's been bird burdening you, uh, it's coming out as the sun. Okay, so in between that is you know, it's happiness. It's gonna it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. Spirit, Holy Spirit, please clarify this. Mm. My goodness, please clarify the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands, Spirit. The Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands. Woo! Too many cards. The Knight of Wands. Okay, let's go take these two. Um, someone could be traveling to you. Hmm. Someone could be traveling to you, Aquarius. It's something that you manifested. It's something you manifest. You manifested someone. They're hiding. They're hiding their feelings. This person could be coming towards you to admit their feelings to you, to share their feelings. You have the Seven of Swords. It's about stealing, cheating, hiding. But this person could be traveling towards you to come and express what they truly feel. This person could have manifested you or you manifest this person. This person is the king of cups. This person is ready. This person is loyal, honest, trustworthy. Okay? This person sees happiness with you, Aquarius. Yeah, it's slow moving. This person's moving slow because they're really thinking, but this person is coming towards you. They're moving slow because they, they're thinking about how how they're going to come in and come towards you, but they definitely, 
this definitely you could have manifested this person into your life, Aquarius. Spirit, please clarify this judgment card. The judgment card. That's for some of y'all, okay? This judgment card is, yeah. The judgment is all about epiphany. You have the Knight of Swords. That is something that's coming in. Something's coming in to you very quickly. And Aquarius, you're going to have to be defensive. Whatever this is, you have had an epiphany, enlightenment about. There's some Russian energy coming in, and you have the um, you have the Seven of Wands, and the Seven of Wands is all about protecting your territory. Like I said, for some of you, something's been burdening you. You've been in your comfort zone. You have had an epiphany, enlightenment. Um, Someone's going to come at you very aggressive, very strong, but you're defending yourself. Okay? It's going to this is quick energy. It's going to come out of nowhere. But you're definitely going to you're definitely going to defend your territory. Uh you're going to have an epiphany enlightenment or you're going to awaken. Um but it's something that has been burdening you. Okay? Um, I also get like for, uh, also, uh, the other half of you, you, you were burning because you couldn't find your soulmate Well, this person that you're going to meet or this person that's going to come towards you, um, could be coming to travel, uh, with you, or you can be traveling to see this person, this person traveling, to see you, this person you have manifested, but this person is knight of pentacles. They're moving very slow. Um, who maybe someone you're you've been talking to for you know for this is um this is fresh energy you've been talking to this person is moving slow because they want to make sure that it's right but they're coming in because they've been hiding how they feel with you they want a new they yeah they definitely going to be trustworthy they want to have happiness with you for a lot of you this burning this um this this anxiety this fear that's going on um it's some russian energy coming in uh it's clarified you know you have the judgments clarified but you're definitely going to be very protective you're going to you're going to protect your territory occur aquarius uh knight of swords is about quick fast it's like a, a russian energy um, you're going to have some type of epiphany, some type of awakening, but yeah, it's coming. Um, it could be something that has been burdening you. You have been thinking about, but you, you're definitely coming in with a, um, with the defense energy. Yeah. You have the card came out again, that epiphany, you have the judgment twice. So that's, that's definitely confirmation, Aquarius. Definitely confirmation. Something's coming in that's rushing in that you're going to have to protect protect your territory. I don't know what this is, but it's, it's rushing in. And for some of you, for the majority of you, you have, you have uh, what's been burdening you because your soulmate um, has been weighing heavy on you because you haven't, you haven't met your soulmate yet. Well, this person, you're going to meet this person maybe while you're traveling. Um, or maybe this person, you're going to meet this person while they're traveling. Somehow it's going to be something uh, to do with water. Um, and and um, it's going to make you very happy. Uh, and for some of you, something's really heavy been weighing on you. You've been having anxiety. You have been uh, really uh, having uh, fear and anxiety. You've just been uh, insomnia. What Spirit is saying, it's going to be okay. The sun is coming out. Uh, that's the most major card in the deck. You're going to be happy. You're going to be free. Um, so don't worry. But uh, for some of you, you you're going to have an energy that's going to come towards you, and you're going to have to you're going to have to definitely defend yourself. I don't know what this energy is, but this is it's, it's almost like you have an awakened or this person has awakened or you have had a, a resurrection or you have had an epiphany. Or this person has had an epiphany and they're going to come towards you very fast, but you're going to be definitely in a defense mode. You're going to protect what's yours. So, um yeah. Um 
judgment twice, maybe in 20 hours, maybe in 20 days, uh, 20, 20, 10, 10, maybe in 10 days, two weeks, this energy is going to come towards you, Aquarius, um, and you're going to definitely um, be prepared for it because I see you definitely defending your territory, all right? All right, Aquarius. So for some of you, you're definitely going to have to defend whatever this Russian energy that's coming towards you. For majority of you, something that's been weighing on you very heavy has weighed you down that you have been burdening about. The spirit the, the spirit has said that it's you're going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. And for a lot of you that's been just just really wanting your soulmate to come in, you're going to meet this person over water through traveling and it's some, someone that you manifest is something you manifested and it's going to be a new beginning, new fresh uh, emotions, new fresh everything and this person uh, is definitely going to share uh, their happiness, they want happiness with you, okay? So that's a little bit, uh, uh, something for a little bit of everybody. I hope you enjoyed this reading thank you and have a beautiful day